One, so for, for, for friends. One, two, three. Woo! Woo! Wow, that was underwhelming. Oh, Germany. One, two, three. Woo! Right, that is the right response. <laughs> Voluptuous beauty in Strauss's music. The diva he loved. Extraordinary marriage of Richard and Tamina Strauss. Let's start with them, shall we? So, voluptuous beauty in Strauss's music. On the brink, decadence in late 19th century Germany. Or the diva he loved. The diva. The diva he loved. Oh. I had the good fortune to actually write a show about this marriage. So, 50, 52 year, 51 year marriage and that lasted two world wars and a complete change of scene. She was a colorful woman. Some would say difficult, I prefer to say colorful. Difficult as she could be, Strauss simply couldn't do without her. Late in her life, and they'd been married about 30 years, maybe even 40. Uh, he was staying with their son, whose nickname was Booby, and he said, Booby, you and Alice have been so kind, but I miss Mama. I'm so bored. He couldn't quite live away from her. Somehow all the drama that she created and all the color was the thing that helped him to actually keep his own equilibrium. And so I, I encourage you, find out more about them because they are a fascinating couple. He's saying, essentially, if you only knew what it was like to be in love. If you've ever had a friend who comes in and they are absolutely infatuated with a new girl, the first you are in the, the cuddle phase, and the second one said, oh, if you knew what it was like to be afraid. So you hear the harmonies change. Can you just, you just play a little bit of that second thing? It's all kind of twisty. So this being afraid. If you knew what it was like to be afraid and alone, with no one to comfort you, you would come to me. And then, if you knew what it was like to love, as the world when you created, so that you get this great term, Welt schaffen dem Atem. It's like the love being the world creating breath. And then finally, he sort of says it's, it's like being born upwards, and so that's that's where you hear this. So Schmeiber means to kind of float. It's like someone in some sort of Woody Allen film, just sort of walk, you know, wandering the streets and sort of throwing pedals and kissing strangers, and you know, they're they're sort of in that that stage of, of kind of infatuation and that state of mind. 